This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at the group 1 metals. The group 1 metals, which are also known as the alkali metals, are found in group 1 of the periodic table. On the left, we can see group 1 of the periodic table, which includes hydrogen. Note that although hydrogen is in group 1 of the periodic table, it is not classified as a group 1 metal. In this table, we can see the element, the symbol for the element, and the electron configuration. So as we go down the group, we have lithium, sodium, potassium, rubidium, cesium, and francium. If we look at the electron configurations, we can see they all have one electron in the S sublevel. This tells us that they have one valence electron in the outer main energy level. When group 1 metals react, they lose this one valence electron to form 1 plus ions. So next we look at the physical properties of the group 1 metals. Group 1 metals are soft shiny metals that can be easily cut. The melting point decreases down the group as the metallic bond gets progressively weaker. The atomic and ionic radii increase down the group due to the increasing number of occupied energy levels. The first three members of the group 1 metals, that's lithium, sodium and potassium, float on water due to their low densities. Next we look at the chemical reactivity. Group 1 metals are stored in oil to prevent the reaction with oxygen in the air. The reactivity of the group 1 metals increases down the group. So lithium is the least reactive and cesium is the most reactive. They react vigorously with water to produce an alkaline solution and hydrogen gas. Here we have the reaction of lithium and water to produce lithium hydroxide and hydrogen. All group 1 metals react in the same way. The resulting solution has a pH of between 12 and 14. Next we look at the trends in ionization energy, metallic character and electronegativity. The ionization energy decreases down the group as atomic radius increases, which results in a weaker attraction between the nucleus and the valence electron. The metallic character increases down the group as the ionization energy decreases, and the electronegativity decreases down the group due to the increasing atomic radius. And finally, we look at the reactions between group 1 metals and group 17 elements. So group 1 metals react with group 17 elements, which are also known as the halogens, to produce salts. Here we have two examples. The first example is the reaction of sodium and chlorine to produce sodium chloride. The second example is the reaction of potassium with fluorine to produce potassium fluoride. In the reaction, an ionic bond is formed between the oppositely charged ions. Ionic bonding will be covered in more detail in Topic 4.